for Acoustic Guitar, and I'm here to talk to you about the little syncopations that happen in this Davis Street rag, and where the fingers fall, and the two turnarounds that fall uh, in the middle, one in the middle, one at the end. And so we're gonna start with a very simple alternating thumb. This will happen in almost every measure. Your thumb is gonna keep you steady and play those four beats of the measure. So here comes the first measure with a pinch. So it's one, two, three, and four. Thumb, 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 thumb. The rhythm is the same in the following few measures, but with different notes pinched on the first beat. sharp and into our E where we're going to also get that little syncopation with the pinky in the left hand. And a C. And here comes our little turnaround. Pinch one and three open, which they are with this chord. Come out of position and with your pinky and third finger get third fret um, second string, third fret, fourth string, and back to your C shape. So again, that's one, two, well, I can do it with holding the four, two, three, four. Now we're back to the syncopation again. To a B7. To an E minor. To a diminished on the second fret. You can hold for two move two two beats, <laughs> and then move up to the fifth fret for two beats. So that would sound like one, two, three, four, and back to the theme. A, a partial D uh, D major chord over an F sharp in the bass. You can play it this way or with your thumb on the sixth string. Uh, descending turnaround or a harmonized bass run, however you'd like to think of it. So here's the piece played slowly. I'm Mary Flower here for Acoustic Guitar Magazine, and I have you, hope you have a good time with this Davis Street rag. Thanks again.